This is the Black Sun Syndicate, a division of the Colot Information Network. My name is Bradley Reeves. Uh, you also know me as Yoritomo Raiden, founder of the Colot Information Network. Uh, yesterday, I received a package in the mail from uh, Asmodi North America, otherwise uh, we know them more as Fantasy Flight Games, uh, with this lovely item. A box of Spirit of Rebellion booster packs. So we're going to do a box opening. Uh, we're going to talk about Spirit of Rebellion and um, go over some of the uh, the fun stuff in the set. Uh, so uh, I'm going to switch screens uh, while I am changing the camera. Uh, we're areas and articles so <clears throat> see if I get this unboxed now Spirit of, the Re of Rebellion is the second set of Star Wars Destiny uh, that will that is to be released um, on um, May the 4th to coincide with uh, what's known as Star Wars Day. And then you have to worry about Revenge of the Fifth. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to get this ink a little bit. We have a yellow dye in here. Now the first is a legendary. It's Maz's goggles. Now this is going to be a great equipment. Right, you have to just spot a yellow character. Uh, your special lets you discard an event from their hand. Ton of focus. Going to be fantastic. Dark presence. So this is control in an ultimate form. After rolling discard, you get to choose and remove one of their dice. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, Spirit of Rebellion, one of these that triggers when there's a second copy, uh, or you get a, an ability and then a bonus if you have a second copy in your graveyard, your discard pile. High ground. Um, uh, this is another one that plays off the battlefield. And then Destiny. Uh, this is a cool way to cheat out cards when um, 
maybe you don't have the money for it. Um, and it just requires removing dice with total equal to or, uh, or greater than the card you want to play. So that one's quite interesting. Now, I will tell you that Fantasy Flight Games has had... Well, that's a blue die. Uh, has had some issues with their, with their print run, unfortunately. Uh, just like with the first set, some of their... Some of their cards has unfortunately, uh, or some of their dice has 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 had the misfortune of being misprinted. And for this one, we got four seal. So you'll notice I'm meticulous about going over this. Okay, so uh, four seal is. Um, designed for more of the one to two character builds um, you know, healing in blue was not something we saw very much of in the first set and now we're seeing more of it um, this is uh, uh, continues to make blue powerful this is a blue hero card uh, as if Qui-Gon wasn't a pain already you may he may even become more of a pain Uh, friendly fire this is a fantastic hero card um, letting you remove an opponent's die and then deal that damage to uh, to a character is impressive most impressive uh, suppression uh, remove one of your red dice showing range damage then remove an opponent's dice so this is neutral um, so it's one of the one of the things that uh, red was missing was um, uh, some some good overall removal. It was very powerful, uh, did a lot of stuff, but they couldn't removing dice was something that was a little difficult for them. So you had to pair them either with yellow or blue. Now it has now they have something they can use. Uh, hold on, uh, this is a. A new event, Ambush. Move any number of your shields from one of your characters to another character. So, as if Han was not annoying enough. Uh, this is, a hero, again, a hero-only card. And then the Ewok Village. Uh, which is remove all shields from a character when claimed. All right, so so far we got a one legendary and one rare. Well, hello there. Ah, uh, yes, slave one. So check the sides. Okay, so Slave 1, uh, 4 is expensive for a, a support, uh, but um, uh, it certainly has a lot of power. It's, um, I sort of compare it to the, um, the Falcon for the dark side. Uh, 2, 3, 4 damage, and then an ability that... Um, for a special where you can force an opponent to deal damage to one of the characters equal to the number of dice they have in their in their pool distributed as they wish. That's both fantastic and scary. Uh, life debt. After you activate this character, you may move one damage from another character to this character, ignoring shields. So it gives you a little more protection where you can move damage around, sort of splash it uh, again this is a this is a hero uh, upgrade uh, improvisation as your cost support has ambush uh, remove one of your dice showing a blank to reroll any number of your dice so uh, this gives you a cheap 
and it gives you a way to uh, save yourself from having to um, discard a card um, to re-roll. You do lose a die in the deal, but if they're if it's blank, it's blank. Uh, aftermath. After a character is defeated, gain one resource. And both those last two cards are neutral. Uh, Relentless Pursuit. Move up to two damage from an opponent's character to another character. This ignores shields. Now, this is a fantastic villain card. There's a lot of splash damage you can do in yellow. And this really pushes uh, more of that out. I'm going to do some slight adjustments to this to the camera. So bear with me just a moment. All right, boys, next pack. So I've opened three packs and got and got two legendaries. That looks like Mon Mothma. All right, time to check the die. One resource, two res. I mean, uh, one focus, two focus, a shield, a resource, a resource, and a blank. Okay. Um, so she's another one of these support characters out of the same vein as, um, um, Admiral Akbar. Um, the extra rerolls and the focuses are, can be amazing. Uh, the question is how much protection is she going to be able to give, I mean, how much are you going to be able to protect her? Finding the right build for some of these is, is critical. So it may take some time, but I certainly feel like she's got potential somewhere in the metagame. Uh, Salvo. Resolve one of your dice showing range damage against each of your opponent's characters. Now this is a fantastic card uh, against uh, three or more character builds. Uh, it's good against two, two character builds, but it's amazing against three and four character builds. Uh, so if your opponent is uh, going wide, this is, an, you know, this is great for a metagame. To, to be able to have a card like that to just uh, you know go be able to help blow blow it away uh, already seen suppression uh, confidence choose an opponent's die and force them to resolve it if able so uh, this is a this is an interesting uh, card um, knowing your opponent may have rolled something, an, an effect that he doesn't want, uh, but uh, forcing them to, to resolve it is, is potentially, could be potentially breaking. So uh, it is a hero uh, neutral event, or a hero um, um, gray event, so it can be played in any colored uh, hero deck. Uh, tactical Aptitude. After activate a character, after you activate this character, you may draw a card. Then place a card from your hand on the top, on the bottom of your deck. So this lets you sort of filter through your deck while you're attempting to, uh, while you're trying to grind deeper. Now, it used to be in the game you didn't have to worry. You were going to get to by the end of the game, more than likely you're going to end up with a that far in your deck I don't know how much um, a card like this helps being an upgrade is sort of a problem because you'd rather have your upgrades doing damage and this does not do damage uh, but I can't say that it's bad um, now if it made your opponent discard a card fantastic because you know Vader is all about that All right. That looks like a probe droid. Okay, interrogation droid, not a probe droid, but whatever. 
check her sides. A discard, a disrupt, a disrupt, a disrupt. Or three discards, a disrupt, a shield, and a blank. After you activate this uh, support, look at a random card from your opponent's hand. If that card is an event, you may remove this die to discard it. Imperial Inspection. After one of your dies rolls a disrupt, you may exhaust the support to return an upgrade in play that costs two or less to your opponent's hand. This is fantastic control. Um, this hits a good chunk of the meta, and this is fantastic. Villain only, however, but fantastic. Uh, swiftness. One cost, uh, gray, neutral. Uh, has ambush give the next card you play this turn the ambush keyword so it's another one of these cards to push through extra actions uh, loth cat and mouse uh, this is sort of the um, the hero version of he doesn't like you uh, which is this one's slightly more balanced it's zero cost you force an opponent to choose and remove one of their dice then remove one of to remove one of your dice, and then you remove one of their dice. <coughs> and Arms Deal. Zero cost, event, discard any number of weapons from your hand, then gain one resource for each card that you discarded. Um, not sure where this fits currently. Uh, it's got interesting spots, but not 100% sure where that's going to go. Well, we are now one. We're now six packs in, and I've I've now pulled three three legendaries. So this is Obi Wan Kenobi, Mysterious Hermit, one ray or one melee, three melee, one focus, two focus, resource, and a blank. Okay. Um, sensor placement. Spot a red character to. Resolve an opponent's die not showing damage as though it were your die. Fantastic. Friends in low places. Spot a yellow character to look at an opponent's hand and discard an event that costs one or less. Uh, again, another fantastic card lets you look at your opponent's hand, get rid of stuff that uh, you don't want them to have. Um... Othagunga Nabu claim heal a one damage from a character. And then Pari uh, for one cost neutral gray event remove a die showing melee damage. So it's <clears throat> so it's cheap but it's uh, not great. Move one, it's a one for one. Command shuttle. So we have two ranged, two shield, one resource, two specials, and a blank. Three cost. Uh, use a special ability on one of your characters, a villain only. It's a little expensive for what it does. Premonitions. Uh, choose one. Set this card aside and stack a card from your hand on it face down. Or play a stacked card on another copy of this card for free and discard uh, the set aside copy. So uh, this is another one that triggers on the second copy. Uh, synchros synchronous a City. Uh, play only if you have a die showing damage and shields. Deal two unblockable damage to a character. Again, Qui-Gon is Qui -Gon decks are going to love this. Absolutely. Undying Loyalty. Zero cost. Uh, this is a red event. Heal one damage from a red character. If there's another copy, 
of this event in your discard pile, you may spend one resource to place this event on top of your deck instead of discarding it. Villain only. Uh, don't know how much that's worth it. One cost uh, card outmaneuver to sport. After you complain, claim the battlefield. Gain one resource. Uh, this is neutral. So that's uh, interesting for gaining extra resources. Yellow might be in the market for that. Jedi Acolyte. Let's see, one range to focus, two focus, a discard. Okay, so they're all there. Uh, before you resolve this die, increase the value by one. If it is showing the same symbol as one of your other dice. Uh, obviously, he's a little, it's a little weaker. Uh, the, it's similar to the Padawan. Uh, but it only has one damage side, uh, but being able to increase by one is interesting. We have them now. Two cost, play only if you control the battlefield, it's villain. Uh, turn up to four of your dice to side showing damage, ranged or melee. And that's, a, that's a lot of resources for that, but it's also very powerful. Uh, the long con. Gain three resources if there's another copy of this card in your discard pile. Okay, so again, there's a lot of a lot of cards in this set that, that use that mechanic. So, uh, Collateral damage. Neutral. Zero cost. Re resolve one or more of your dice showing either melee or ranged damage, then force an opponent to lose one resource. Well, uh, interesting control card as well as massive damage card so um, again being able to resolve multiple dice uh, at once is very very powerful docking bay claim uh, play a support from your hand or discard pile de decreasing its cost by one so this is one of the first cards that really pushes supports over upgrades so this is very interesting um, uh, so far, uh, we haven't had a lot to look forward to if you're playing supports. Uh, that's a very nice card to have. Saber Pike. Yeah, this is going to tickle. One melee, two melee, four melee for a resource, a shield, a resource, and a blank. Uh, Carbonite Freezing Chamber. Uh, we saw that in the preview cards. Um, getting to uh, keep a die from being rolled the next turn is pretty powerful uh, no disintegrations discard the top card of an opponent's deck or the top three if there's another copy in the yard and we've seen loth cat and mouse and arm steel so red die Rebel Commando. So, Rebel Commando has one ranged, two ranged, discard, resource, a special, and a blank. And the special is removing opponent's die. Or, uh, um, I think um, 
this one is being more controlling while the dark side one uh, the death trooper is being more straightforward and powerful uh, that's fine uh, guard remove or yeah remove one of your blue dice showing melee damage to remove a number of opponents dice equal to the value of the dice just removed sounds pretty nuts it can remove one of my dice to remove two or three caught th three of your dice that's uh, that's pretty good and depending on the situation it's pretty amazing uh, already seen spirit of rebellion attrition one cost of villainous support after the your one of your characters is defeated deal one damage to a character um, max you're gonna get out of this is probably three if you're running a four character deck not sure where it fits currently Spynet, hero, one cost, support. After one of your dice rolls a focus, you may exhaust the support to discard the top card of an opponent's deck. Uh, again, interesting. Not sure where mill decks are fitting in this format because the damage base decks are so good. Royal Guard, one melee, two melee, plus two melee, uh, shield, a shield, and a blank, guardian, and you cannot play blue abilities on this character. Uh, except for villain, that's not really a detriment because you simply say, oh, I'll play holocron on it. Imperial War Machine, villain event cost zero, remove one of your red dice, showing a resource cost or resolve one of your red dice showing a resource cost for free um, now normally I, I'm not a proponent of cards of this matter but it this is this is interesting if you're not going to run rebel war room privatization has been seen already cargo hold uh, move an upgrade from a character to another character controlled by the same player um, this is an interesting um, battlefield. Oh, this is power this is one that's uh, powerful. Uh, and now you will die. One cost villain event. Resolve one of your dice as as if it were showing melee damage, but it keep it, it but it <clears throat> it keeps its original value. So all those car you know all those ones that are running multiple damage sides are running you know like um, you know the sides you normally don't want when you're playing aggressive deck that's the card that fixes it oh chewy uh, good boy Fan flipping tastic. Let's make sure this one is correct. One range, two range for a resource, two melee resource, special blank. Fantastic. Sabotage. Uh, discard a card from your hand equal to the cost of a support to play a uh, in play to discard that support for one. Um, so this is again an interesting removal sp card spell uh, event. Call it what you will. Another copy of Swiftness, Undying Loyalty, and Outmaneuver. Okay, so we're starting to get duplicates there. Can a brother have some fast hands? I want to take that too.
so I got uh, overkill which is a plus one, a plus two, a plus three, a plus three, and a couple of blanks. If you just want to shoot something dead, you're going to use overkill. And speaking of fast hands, um, I'd be the best uncommon in the in the in the set. Just nuts. Decisive blow. Cost 3, remove one of your dice showing melee damage, then remove all character and upgrade dice of the character you just dealt damage to. And then another copy of High Ground and, De and Destiny. It is your destiny. This is Imperial Discipline, one ranged, one melee, a shield, a resource, plus one resource, and a blank. Red character only. Remove this die to turn one of your character or upgrade dice to a side showing ranged or resource. Moisture Farm, uh, Game 1 Resource, Spirit of Rebellion, High Ground, Tactical Aptitude. So I'm starting to get duplicates now of other cards. Other red dice. the infamous Death Trooper. One of the first cards previewed, if not the first if I remember correctly. Arranged, one ranged, two ranged, plus two ranged, a, a uh, disrupt and a blank. Gonna be great for villains. Another moisture farm. Lockdown. Ambush. Spot two red characters to take control of the battlefield. This does not claim the battlefield. So there's a lot of cards that trigger off ha controlling the battlefield. This gives you another way to do so without actually claiming it. Collateral damage and another docking bay. You underestimate my powers. Darth Vader, Dark Apprentice. Arranged two melee, three melee for resource. A discard, a bl a um, a bl yeah, a blank and a special. Fantastic. Secret Facility. Resolve up to three of your dice showing damage, ranged or melee. Now, obviously, by this wording, you cannot resolve modified sides, so you'll have to resolve sides that are just the other. It does give you a way to mix damage. Uh, long Con. Wingman. This is a powerful common. Red character only. After you activate a red... A red character, you may activate a attached character. It is an upgrade and takes an upgrade slot, but this is fantastic. Any reckless pursuit. And now that we come to the guy who people are talking about being broken. Outer Rim Smuggler.
one ranged, two ranged, a discard, a disrupt, a resource, a blink, Ooh. so when we have not pulled rubble, uh, play only if you have one more dice showing discard, play a card from your discard pile decreasing its cost by one. Rejuvenate. Zero cost. Splot a blue character to heal one damage from a character. Hmm. I think there are better cards unless you want to go mono blue. Um. I think I still want willpower though. The price of failure. Zero cost. Spot a blue character and defeat one of your characters to ready a character. In other words, do not take off Emperor Palpatine. Meditate. Zero cost. Exhaust this support and remove one of your dice showing a blank to turn one of your other dice to a side not showing damage. Sort of fits the Jedi lore. This is pack 18. Lore of power. Um, you may resolve this modifier die with any mo any other symbol. So it's got a plus one, a plus one, a plus two, a resource, and two blanks. Don't know what to think about it, but second copy of Salvo, no disintegrations, confidence. And then there's evade. One cost, remove a die to show, showing range damage. So, uh, in the first set we got two cost cards that remove all dice of that type. And here we get one cost. Uh, it's straight one for one removal. Not great. Not ter It's not terrible. It's not, it's not great. It's okay. So, <clears throat> really it gives you a... A way to show more um, that to meta a certain damage type if necessary which is really interesting so we're halfway through this box we've already pulled one two three four legendaries We've pulled Ventress. So one ranged, two ranged, one melee, or excuse me, one focus, one disrupt, a resource, and a blank. Training. Non unique red character only. Attached character is elite. So this is interesting. Uh, this is an upgrade, so uh, take that as you will. So far there's only uh, there's not too many red non-uniques on either side. Uh, this gets better as the card pool grows. Uh, Rebel Assault, of course you've seen this one in the previews. Uh, play only if you have one or more dice showing range damage. Remove an opponent's die, not showing damage. Uh, again, this is another red removal card that they haven't had previously. Uh, collateral damage. And Secluded Beach on Scarif. Remove an opponent's die, showing range damage. So again, this is a metagame call card.
Donnie Yen has made an appearance. Uh, I am one with the force, the force is with me. So he has a ranged, a plus two ranged, a two melee, a plus one melee, a resource, and a blank. They only missed one flavor fell. He kept saying, uh, I am one with the force, the force is with me. Why he can't play blue abilities, why can't he play the uh, one with the force? <laughs> Lightsaber throw. Play if you have one or more dice showing melee damage. Villain only. Deal two damage to your character. Again, this is uh, burst damage. Um, uh, for the dark side, there's a, several cards that do this. This is painful to look at, to think about. Uh, bolt hole, zero cost. Remove one of your yellow dice to give an opponent to give a character to to give that character. W remove one of your yellow character dice to give that character two shields. So you got to sacrifice a dice for it. But if you're in a tight spot, maybe. Don't know how well that's going to build. Uh, Loth, Cat and Mouse, and Destiny. So we've seen copies of those. Twenty packs in, boys. Oh, fantastic! I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations, and Damage bu Buffer Extraordinaire, or any buffer extraordinaire. Oh my goodness. So he has a focus, a, oops, say, get back to it. So he has a, f a disc, a focus, a discard, two um, resources, and two blanks. Remove this die to resolve one of your dice as if we're showing a different symbol. See, 3PO is pretty nuts, folks. And it's a one cost support, so it's not completely wasting your entire turn, e even on early turns. Uh, emergency evac, four cost, remove all dice. Not sure how well that's going to get played. Rubble Assault, Garbage will do, uh, Hero Event, Zero Cost, Ambush, uh, remove one of your vehicle dice to give each one of your characters a shield. Um, it's a hero only card. Right now, they can. They've only been able to play three character decks, max, I think. <clears throat> so, this is possible zero cost to give three shields. Mm. At the cost of using a vehicle die, yeah, that's going to be difficult. Guerrilla warfare, ambush, zero cost, remove one of your red dice to deal one damage to a character. So again this is a, it's not great burst damage but y you combine this with uh, your next action sort of setting up chaining uh, actions and damage across. It's a lot of potential. All right. Legendary number five, the bowcaster. Two damage, four damage for resource, plus three damage, two disrupt, a special, and a blank. Jesus Christ. Oh, my ally is the force. 
to Ghost Ambush. Resolve one of your blue die without removing it from your pool. Hero only. Yeah, two, two am. I mean, uh, two resources is a lot. Um, this may be a wait and see. Another friends in low places. Battle formation. Villain. So back with battle formation, um, it has an ambush. Uh, count the number of red characters you have. You may re-roll that many of your dice. So this sort of sets up the bomb scenario <coughs> where you uh, you rolled crappy, play this, you re-roll them, and then you use the ambush action to shoot the crap out of something. aggro decks are going to love it. Okay, the first duplicate is another lower power. Lightsaber throw. Uh, air superiority. One cost. Play the support. Place three shields on it. Exhaust this support. Move one shield from it to a character. So this is sort of the opposite of backup muscle. Let's you um, uh, let you shield up over several turns or if you're taking heavy fire let you uh, prepare some sort of defense second wingman third re relentless pursuit started figuring we'd start seeing doubles here pretty soon <coughs> <laughs> FN two one nine nine arranged a melee two melee for resource a shield. A resource and a blank. Well, I already can't complain about this box. This box has been fantastic so far. Friends in high places. Not sure. This seems like it's a combo deck card, and I really don't know where it fits. Play if you only have dice showing combined value of seven or more. Look at the top three cards of your deck. If you play one of those for free, discard the others you don't play. Overconfidence. Spot a blue character to re-roll two dice. Then remove one of those dice with the lowest value. Uh, attrition and a spy net. Okay, so right now we have opened 24 boosters, and I've pulled 5 legendaries, which is insane, by the way. Well, there he is. <clears throat> Being called the most powerful weapon in the set because it matches Ray's damage. The Vibro Knife. One melee, one melee, two plus two melee. Resource, a disc, a uh, discard, a blank. Absolutely busted card. Oh yeah, has ambush. As if it needed any more. Anger. Play only if you have two or more cards or two more dice showing blanks. Resolve an opponent's die showing ranged or melee if, as if it were your die. <coughs> so this is just nuts. 
Now I am the master. One cost upgrade. After attached character or upgrade die steals damage, you may exhaust this upgrade to turn one of turn a die to a side showing a blank. So it gives your aggro deck some control. Trench warfare. Uh, play if you only have one or more if you have one or more dice showing a shield. Turn any number of your opponent's dice to side showing shields. Not sure how fond I am of this. Um, I mean, I guess you could really mess up an aggro deck with it, but not something I'd want to do. One quarter portion. One cost villain event. Remove, uh, re remove an opponent's die. Then they gain one resource. <clears throat> Smuggler's Freighter. Let's see, one cost. Uh, support. One discard, two, or one disrupt, two disrupt, one resource, two resource, double blank. Loose ends. Ambush. Remove one of your dice showing range damage to d to discard the top four cards of the opponent's deck. Long con. Doubt. Uh, zero cost. Reroll an opponent's die. Then that opponent must either resolve the die or remove it. Protective Mentor. Attached character shields can be used to block damage dealt to any character. Hello Qui-Gon. How you doing? Hello Han. How you doing? <laughs> I'll have to edit some beeps because I pulled R2 D2. So we got he's a he's a support. He has a melee, a focus, a disrupt, a resource, and two specials. Second Imperial War Machine. Ammo belt. One cost. Before another upgrade on attached character would be discarded by a card effect, you may discard this upgrade instead. So, some light protection. Don't think it's great. Cragged Dragon Howl. Spot a blue character to choose an opponent's die. That opponent chooses to either remove it or discard the top two cards of their deck. Oh, I was waiting for this. Bait and Switch. You guys have probably seen this in previews. Zero cost uh, ambush yellow villain event. Turn one of your dice showing a resource to any side. I was wondering, we were over halfway through the box and hadn't seen one, and it was a common. Lone Operative. Three cost up yellow upgrade. Two melee. Two discard. A resource. Two specials and a blank. Sustaining fire. Play if you play only if you have two or more dice showing range damage. Remove all shields from all of an opponent's characters. Hey, Qui-Gon, how you doing? Another Rejuvenate, another Doubt, and another Protective Mentor. <coughs> Ch 
Jin Urso. Reckless Operative. So we got two ranged, two ranged, a discard, two discard, a resource, and a blank. With a copy of Anger. Determination. Play only if you have one or more dice showing focus. Resolve one of your dice as if it were showing a different symbol. Double dealing. After one of your dice rolls a special, you may exhaust the support to gain one resource. And diversion, something I haven't seen. Force an opponent to lose one resource or three resources instead if there's another copy in your discard pile. left here. Seven left. I don't recognize this one. Oh, it's force push. Three cost neutral blue character only. Uh, two ranged, two ranged, two. Discard two specials and a blank. Turn up to two of your opponent's dice to sides of your choice. Speaking of fantastic cards. A force solution. One cost upgrade. Before dash character takes damage, you may discard cards from the top of your deck equal to damage to block it. If this wasn't a 30 card deck, I would take it. Rejuvenate, double dealing, and diversion. Uh, one ranged, one discard, or two, one disrupt, two disrupt, one discard, one resource, and a blank. Nope. So, never tell me the odds, three costs, choose one of your yellow characters, turn any number of character and upgrades dice to the size of your choice. That's powerful. Manipulate. Zero cost. Turn one of your dice to a side showing a blank, then turn an opponent's dice to a side showing a blank. Aftermath and evade. So we got another Imperial Discipline. Traitor. Ambush. Discard the top card of your deck, then remove a die not showing a special that had a value equal to or less than the cost of that card. Ammo belt, confidence, and tactical aptitude. This is an Ascension Gun. It has a ranged, one range, two range focus. A discard for a resource. A 
special and a blank. I always get caught on that. Use the ability on the battlefield that is not being used. As if you had just claimed it. Not sure where it fits, except Miltex. Uh, rise again. It's powerful. Because you get to heal 5 damage and then play an upgrade on it for free. All the others are <coughs> cards are duplicates. Three left. Oh, fantastic. Maz Kanata, Pirate Queen. Arranged a focus, a focus, a shield, money, and a blink. Okay, so what would make me more happy? <laughs> Second copy of Finn, FN. Sabotage, Swiftness, Battle Formation, Arm Steel. Well... I'll take a Vibro Knife and Overkill or a Vader. Probably won't get any of them. Now I got the C6 right control uh, control baton. Two, two, or uh, two, two melee, three for f Jesus Christ. I got seven legendaries in a box and I only got two duplicates that's pretty fantastic the only duplicates I got were lure power and FN 2199 everything else was oh and uh, Imperial Discipline so I got three duplicates out of a box which was much, much better than the first box. Um. We are signing off, and may the Force be with you.